Hello, everybody. I'm Jackie K. Cooper, and I am so pleased today to have with me on camera the producer, Stratton Leopold, and the director, William. Say, give me your name correctly now. Wages. William Wages. And Stratton's the producer. You're the director. You're the co writer. Yes. So I saw the movie yesterday, had a great time with it, and you know, was eager to talk with y'all. Uh, Stratton, you and I go back forever. Uh, long time. Long time. And then I was reading all the notes. The two of you have been friends for long a time. long time. Yeah. What got y'all together for the Neon Highway? Well, we, we never really got apart because we went our separate ways. I ended up in L.A., as you know, for the most part, Bill ended up around the world filming. And we, over the last, what do you think, Bill, 10, 15 years, we started, we started talking about we want to do things that we want to do that are story driven. We know actually and, never stopped talking about that that's true. in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've yeah. had wonderful long careers in Hollywood and are appreciative, had a wonderful time, but we always had this little burning desire to do our own thing. Well, and this movie, though, is the first movie that y'all have collaborated on, though, correct? Se second. Second. second? Okay. No, first third. one. Third? Which was? Well, we did two. You well, that's right. That was the cinematography. Yeah. 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 Well, from reading the notes, I got the impression that we are with you, the, this idea for this film had been percolating for quite a while. Oh, yeah. With Bill, yes. Absolutely. In fact, Jackie, there's a whole backstory to it that Bill will tell you that goes back decades with Johnny. Johnny, So, Bill, you should, you should give the history of the script here. Sure. We wrote this script years ago, and I sent it to Lamont Johnson, a famous TV director who I had DP'd a lot of productions with, old friend, became a mentor of mine, because I live in Georgia. I've always lived in Atlanta. I never moved to Hollywood. Yeah, there you go. And um, say again, I, I'm still in Georgia, period. Oh, yeah. oh, you are. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, you're talking to two Georgia boys here. Yeah. Um, anyway, I sent the script to Lamont and I said, because I knew he'd be honest with me. You know, nobody wants to tell you your baby's ugly. So um, he um, and I knew he'd be honest and tell me if it was ugly, but also knew he'd tell me why and we could address it and fix it. So he came back and said, you know, I think we can get the money together to make this. Are you okay if I direct it? And I went, yes, that would be great. So the week later, I'm having a meeting with Johnny Cash and uh, Johnny to play Claude. And um, it was going really well. We had multiple meetings with Johnny. He was fantastic. He wanted to do it. The money was getting into place. And then Johnny called and said, I have to drop out. I'm sick. Now, this was years before everybody knew it, and he was still touring long after this, but his doctor said the stress of making a movie was maybe just a little too much. And um, so we put it on the back burner, but it was, and went on to write other scripts, and, and of course, I'm still working as a cinematographer, but it wouldn't go away. We couldn't, every time we worked on something else, this would come up in the conversation. My writing partner, Phil, and I, Bill Baluri had been writing these scripts forever. And um, so finally, one day, it was like, well, wait a minute. Let's pull this out and see what we can do. So we updated it, sent it to Stratton, and here we are today. Thank you, Stratton. Oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm a big Bo Bridges fan. You know, oh, really. yes. Oh, gosh. Lovely, I, I have to say, I cannot imagine what it would have been like to have Johnny Cash in that role. Mm. Yeah, he would have been great, but I tell you, Bo is Bo. one of those actors out there. I mean, he really is incredible. I I agree. I'm you know I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm out of his career forever. He and I are the same age, so I I keep up with him. But yeah. I, just to, you know carries the movie, but also shares the movie with some really strong talent. This guy you mm -hmm. got as, as the main focus uh, is terrific. Yes, he is. And, you know, casting this, everyone had to play. 
all the music's recorded live. None of it is done to playback. So when you see them playing, they're playing. And um, where so, have I been, Rob? Is it Rob? Rob May. May Mays. Yes, where he's is working it? as an actor in L.A. He's now in Nashville. Living in Nashville. Yeah. He wants to pursue music. But I'm it's telling it. you, he comes on screen and you're completely comfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. character. And you, that's the way he is in reality, too, by the way. So is Bo. They're both just really fine people and a pleasure to work with. Absolute pleasure. Yeah, the entire cast was just great. Yeah, it's... it's that, yeah, I, I can't I, get the, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. I no. can't get the story, I thought out of my head because I've known you for a while. I can't get to I keep thinking of the road to the Neon Highway into Nashville often goes through Macon. Oh, I'm right there. I know, There's that's why no. I thought of it. That's, that's, that's where we met. Phil Ballery, my writing partner, is from Macon. I just, Stratton, I associate you with the Burt Reynolds heyday in Georgia. Oh, those that, yeah, that's when it started. That, that was, you know, the, the point of time. And and then you just, our past crossed, you know, back and forth. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And I was looking up your IMDb, you know, credits and, you are just, you've got like four upcoming projects. There, there are a few. In fact, with Bill, we have several up upcoming. So we're getting this one out now. An important thing is get it out, get it in the theaters, get it seen, and we'll, and we'll move on to the next. And I have to mention this because this is a, how wide a distribution are you getting? It's, it's a national distribution. We'll see. How, we'll, we'll, I mean, we, we're, we're, Hoping for a great week, so we'll see what happens after that. I do. I'm hoping for it too. Uh, you know, because yeah. I, I get on here and I tell people this is a great movie, and then they they text me, email me saying it's not playing in my area. I can't find the movie. You know that type of thing. So I'm hoping you get wide distribution on this uh, because it's not just a southern movie. It's no, no, it's for everyone. It's but a middle I, America movie. It was a it was a very sentimental movie to me. I mean, there was mm. such tender moments in this film, and it's all about to me second chances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, mm -hmm. When you reach my age, you look back and you see all the second chances that you get, and I I think that's a wonderful message to send out. And I, I really do think the script and the performances just bring that to life. Thank you. Well, thank you. That means and, a lot to us. And, and, yeah. and Bill, I'll tell you this. You know, what I like about is I never was sure where it was going. Perfect. Mm. Perfect. Yeah. I, I was hoping, but I was never, you know, able to sit back and say, okay, well, I'm, yeah. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. No, it always had that edge and little twist to it. Yeah, I oh. did, I did enjoy particularly uh, the producer getting a plug in. Yeah. <laughs> that was a surprise to me. Yeah. I'll tell you, Jackie. I'm, I'm sitting on set. I had right. the earphones on, and and Bo gets into the car and says it, and I look at Bill. What the hell did he say? And yeah, I just and, smiled back. <laughs> yeah, and Bo has this big grin on his face because Bo loves loves our ice cream. Who does? And, well, thank you. Yeah. In fact, I, yeah. In fact, I got a note from him today because he has some in L.A. He had some, and I just, my God, you said that. He said, "Yeah." And so it, it was just a surprise and well, amazing. I was, th I was thinking, when did when did Stratton get a franchise in Nashville? You know. Well, I tell you what. If you will run it, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, you don't want me running that for you. You, I might run it into the ground. Yeah, but every you, all of my friends, all you know, I always say when they go in Savannah, I say, "Stop by Leopold, stop by Leopold." Oh yeah, thank you. I've never thank had you. a person come back disappointed. Well, and also tell them you can mail order it. Oh yeah, we ship national ice cream everywhere. Oh, look at there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 just on, on, on our website is you can you can order anything. Savannah Socialite, that's the one to get. That's the that's, our, that's our number one. Let me yeah. get back to the movie. 
<laughs> what about the soundtrack? Is the soundtrack going to be out there available? Curb Records has, has will be producing it. Is that Mike Curb of the Mike? That's Mike. Generation? That's con congregation. Yeah, that's yeah. Mike. Sure, man. Wonderful. I remember that. Me, me, me too. Oh, lovely, yeah. lovely, wonderful man. A very generous, wonderful man, who who has saved Music Row from destruction. Actually. Yes, he because has. Because all, all the old studios are going to be torn down for condos, and he bought them all. I said, this is history. We have to preserve it. And he did. Well, now, let me ask you this. When did the song Neon Highway actually oh, come into existence? There's a story to that. The story is this. Tell me the story. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a man named Dallas Davidson, who's a renowned songwriter, uh, countless awards, countless number ones. All Another Georgia boy, by the way. Yes, from middle Georgia. And um, we met with him through the Gretsch family. The Gretsch family lives in Savannah. They are from New York originally. They make wonderful guitars and drums. It's a 120-year-old company. Very well-known, very famous company. So we got to Dallas Davidson through them, through a friendship here in Savannah. Anyway, Bill, the co-writer, Phil Bellori, and I are sitting in Dallas's office. Dallas had read the script at that point, and we're having talks about the script and what have you, and all of a sudden, Dallas turns and picks up a guitar, which happened, as Bill pointed out, happened to be a Gretsch, a Gretsch guitar. A white one. And, he, and starts, starts strumming right in front of our eyes, and starts humming and strumming, and then he starts lyrics. And he starts composing right in front of our eyes, seeing that talent work like that. And then he pauses, and he thought, he said, I better record this before I forget it. He turns his phone on to record it, and he basically starts composing the song right in front of us. And then he did a demo, which we, which we got, he got professionally done. It. Well, actually, he did it at his house, but still, did the demo, and that's how it started. I mean, Amazing talent. I was going to say, isn't it wonderful when you see amazing talent like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, all the musicians are session musicians from Nashville that you see playing on the stages and everything. Uh, and those guys, they can play anything. I mean, yeah. it they is pick it up and do it. Amazing what they're capable of, and yet they're all humble and nice people and a pleasure to be around. Mm -hmm. Not a prima donna in the bunch. Oh, I, I want to give credit to, I loved, and I don't know that, I don't have it in front of me, the actress's name, but Pepper. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. That last scene? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Um, Is she great? Uh, Fantastic. Yep. Another, but, another. But all the way, person. she is just such a, a balancing act in the, mm. in yep. the whole plot of the thing. And she was so good. That, do y'all know her name off the top of your head? I, I hate to talk about her. And uh, yeah, I do. Her name is. Um, it's a. It's a weird name. It's three I people. Thought so. it's, That's why I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. It's Lee. Um, Lee. No, hang on one second. Uh, Sandra Lee Owen Thomas. Okay. And we got, um, name. We got we, a name out there. Listen, most of the actors with a few exceptions, are all local talent uh, cast out of Atlanta for the most part. So I'm very pleased with that. Oh, she was amazing. And it, Counterpoint... And counter, go ahead. No, I was to say, she's Counterpoint to Sam Hilliard, who, who played... Who, who, Sam yeah. lives in L.A., but he's he was born in Macon, raised in Athens. Another Georgia boy. Again, he, we didn't did hire him... We didn't hire these people because they're from Georgia. We hired them because they're good. But as no. fate would have it, most of them are from Georgia. He reminded me of Roger Miller. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And and just you know, again, these you didn't feel like you had to get to know them. As soon as they appeared, within the first few minutes of conversation, you felt like you knew them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that that was that was great. You know, I, as Stratton knows, I've been doing this with movies forever, reviewing movies, et cetera, forever and ever. But I have learned casting is everything. Oh, oh yes. 
Yes. I mean, it, it just, if you get it right and, and you did in this film, it's just that blend that just lifts everything up. I tell you what I've learned from working with actors all these years is when you cast it right, they become that person and they know that character better than the writer, better than the director, better than anybody. And you have to give them their head and let them let them be that person. And I'm not talking about method acting. None of these people were method actors. They were actors and um, they could turn it off and on. So uh, that's a rare, rare talent, quite frankly. You know, Jackie, you're quite right. I, I think back back when we probably met initially, um, I was fortunate to work on, on Wise Blood with John Houston. Yes. And you remember those days. And I, and I remember he, he said, I remember Mary Nell Santa Croce was in the movie. And he said, I said, how did you, and I, I would ask questions constantly. I was learning. I was just questions, questions, questions. And he said, casting. He said, casting and rehearsal, and then that's it. And let him know. It's Bill just said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You'll yeah. learn from them. And they learn, too, as they go along, because they, yeah. they're embodying somebody else. It's discovery on, on all counts. Yeah. I have to ask this. This is just a little thing, but I was looking through the credits. Yeah. There's an actor named Ezekiel Bridges. Mm. <laughs> that Bo's son. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, you know, I, I saw that and I thought, I bet that's Bo's son. It is. Film. Well, it comes from a long history of the Bridges family. And Bo came to us and said, can we use Zeke? And I said, can he act? And he said, yes. And so I said, we'll find a place. And it went back to Lloyd helping Bo become an actor. And it, most of the things Bo was in, I mean, with early movies with his dad, whether he's in a crowd or whatever, his dad brought him up in the family business. And um, and they're doing it with their children, too. It's a legacy. Isn't that great? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, it just, especially if you, if you live long enough and can see it go from mm. one generation one generation to the next. Well, we're, this comes out, well, this is going to air probably next few days, but the date for release is March 8th, correct? No, no. March 15th. What day? March 15th. March 15th. Good, that's better. So it'll give me more time to get this up and posted. <laughs> but uh, I'm wishing you all the luck with this. Thank, Thank you. you. Because it's it's a good film and, you know, I'm, I'm hoping people will, get their families and go out to see it. And, but it's in the theater. It's, yes. It doesn't start, yeah. out, it doesn't start out on the streaming site anywhere. No. Nope. Nope. Right, right in theater. Well, Bill, it's nice to meet you. I'm, nice to meet you. I'm very pleased that we got a chance to meet in Stratton. This is great. I was, I it was, is. and they sent it to me and I looked and it said, producer Stratton Leopold. Okay. I know him. I well, got to get in touch with Stratton. Well, 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 don't be a stranger. Come have some ice cream. Oh, listen, I will be there and double scoop. Okay. <laughs> All right. This has been Jackie K. Cooper with William Wages and Stratton Leopold, and the movie is The Neon Highway.